some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Florida, where we find a frauditor who is a bit upset at the fact that he got trespassed from a building and, well, goes to an attorney's office to file a complaint, but it doesn't go his way, and he ends up getting trespassed for his troubles. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? We're going to follow up on one of those attorneys who decided to make false allegations. So we're going to go in here and we're going to try to get a complaint for him and uh, find out that gentleman's name. So uh, just stay tuned and follow through. Yeah, stay tuned. This guy's going to get completely butthurt that he gets no name to begin with. And the fact that he gets trespassed is just a cherry on top. Moments later. Good morning. I would like to get a complaint form that I can file against one of the public pretenders here. Uh, I don't have a complaint form, per se. Okay. Let me find out if there's a website or something. Hold on, okay? All right, thank you. All right, this lady's going to see if there's a complaint form, and then uh, if there is, we're going to file that. If we have to send it through email, we'll do that as well. But we also need to get that uh, douchebag's name. Well, spoiler alert, this frauditor is not exactly going to get what he wants out of this place. This uh, office doesn't carry any complaint forms. But if they did, I'm sure they'd just file it away in file 13. Since frauditor complaints are so damn useless anyway, might as well go ahead and shred it anyway because the paper is more valuable than the complaint. So therefore, the paper can be reused. Mission statement. That mission statement doesn't mean shit after what that public pretender said to us the other day. Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry. So we're at the public defender's office, aka public pretender, and we're gonna see if we can get a complaint for him so we can file against that uh that attorney from a couple of videos ago who decided to make false allegations. If you're going to make slanderous statements about somebody like this, you might have to defend yourself in a court and, uh, well, I'm sure that lawyer would be more competent in a trial setting than you. Also, remember, in that video, they never trespassed me from the building. He never said he was going to. Um, you know that deputy sheriff, you know, tried to solicit that. Never happened. You know, Frauditor, if you're going to survive in a court, you might as well learn that there is no such thing as soliciting a trespass. That is a Frauditor myth right there, and one that's been debunked over and over again by actual lawyers, too. We're just going to hide the camera for a minute now that respect to these gentlemen here. <clears throat> Government employees don't get that courtesy. Someday we will come back down here for this. Okay. A good one. Although there is no filming inside that room. So just FYI. Why not? I'm sure that's the next step anyway, auditing public bathrooms. Just wait for it. You're going to see a male frauditor enter a female restroom in a Walmart auditing the tampon dispenser. Well, one thing's for sure, that tampon dispenser will come out on top because it's got more brain cells than the average frauditor. So, I'm pretty sure, 100%, this is run by St. Lucie County, you know, the commissioners and all that stuff. It's a county building, it's a, it's a government building, and if they violate our rights here, then we can go after the county for you know, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, whatever the case may be. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Um, even harassment. <coughs> um, so what that attorney did the other day, saying, call, saying that I have mental health issues and everything. Perhaps you know Russian epic of Cinderella. If shoe fits, wear it. That 
I could sue him for that. Not necessarily for slander. Maybe. But I can get him on emotional distress. And, you know, there, there are some people making uh, horrible comments um, last time, I believe. So, might fall into like rep damage to reputation a little bit there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Well, in order for you to figure it out, you might want to consider consulting an actual attorney before you, uh, well, put your foot in your mouth again. Speaking of an attorney, there's one that's going to be popping up here in a moment. Okay. Hello. Need to get out of here. So I need to file a complaint. Okay, you can. Here I am. Do you have a complaint for him? No, I'm the, I'm the public defender. If you got a complaint here for right. for the county, for the circuit. Okay. And what is your name? Because I want to file a complaint He's against not you. Tell you what his name is. Now, what do you want? So you are government county employees. I have a connection to the commissioner. I'll get the commissioner. I want you out of here now. If not, I'm going to call my lawyer. Okay. Well. Well, I wonder if they know who this guy is because he attempted to name drop the county commissioner, but I don't think that means anything in this office. Just a typical fraud or scare tactic to keep the public servants in line, which really doesn't work, especially since it's coming from this gibbering idiot right here who probably has a criminal record. Okay, I'll step out because you made the threat, but you just bought yourself a First Amendment lawsuit, okay? Good. So what's your name? What's your name? Right on the door. All right. Careful there, Frauditor. You don't want another disorderly conduct charge under your belt now, do you? Go ahead and call them. Whore. I can say whatever I want. It's First Amendment. Hey, hey, you Frauditor. That's not entirely accurate right there, considering that there are some states that do have laws that govern that kind of language, especially in public. So you might want to look up your state laws on fighting words and everything like that, because that could get you into some serious trouble. So, <laughs> you, you heard me? Yeah. So they, they just kicked me out. They're calling the police. It's a public. It's a public building. So I'm gonna get a copy of that 911 recording. I'm gonna post it on my YouTube. Everybody's gonna hear it. I hope they do. Making a false report is a crime. Don't assault me. Don't assault me. Don't assault me. Don't assault me. Don't slam my. Sorry, folks, but I just had to cut out a string of uh, well, derogatory insults such as the bundle of sticks reference that he gave to this attorney right here. Yeah, not a very pleasant individual. You got a complaint coming? I'll wait for the police. I'm not scared. And just remember, you never. The sheriff asked you, "Are you going to trespass me from the building?" You never say yes or no. So I have it on camera. And we're live too. Everybody's watching, huh? Oh, don't worry. I I have a mental health. Uh, I, I scheduled a mental health evaluation. So we're gonna find out. I am competent. So the first thing they do, I, I want to file a complaint, and they automatically say get out. That's what they say. They tell me to get out because I want to file a complaint. These are government employees. We're going to reach out to the commissioner, all right? We're going to reach out to the county commissioners, and we're going to get a complaint going. So he spends a great deal of time outside of this building uh, calling them all sorts of horrific names until the police show up and, well, he gets even more butt hurt because he doesn't get what he wants. More moments later. All right. So I'm going to be uh, very, very, very clear, okay? Yeah. I invoke my First Amendment right, all right? And I also invoke my Fifth, so you cannot ask me any questions from this point forward. Uh, I don't think that's the case because unless you get so, you don't have those. So this is, this is a, How I'm talking to the deputy right now. So I came in to file a complaint for him against this gentleman who's refusing to identify. Okay. All right? He's refusing to identify. He's a government employee. I just want his name. He, he can't give it. So we're going to have to go down to the county commissioners and start filing complaints. Well, and that's what you'd have to do. But they don't want you back inside the building. Which, which, no right which they do. have no right to do. Because it's, Unfortunately. Uh, again, it is a public building. Okay? Yes. It's open to the public. So I have every right to come in there and film. All right. Well, you can stand. It's the First here. Amendment, so they violated my First Amendment. You can stand out here. I'm listening to you. All right, I'm not interrupting you. You can stand out here. You have every right to do that. I can't move you off the sidewalk. But you, they do have the right to restrict your access inside the building. Now, you can file a lawsuit if you'd like to, 
You can go to the federal courthouse across the street. You can go to the county commissioner's office. You can do whatever you'd like to do, but they don't want you back inside. I want to exercise. What I would like to do is exercise my First Amendment inside that lobby. That's a public lobby. Sorry, fraudster, but once they kick you out of that building and trespass you, you're not getting back in unless they allow you to do so. Seems like somebody needs to actually go and study the trespassing laws instead of acting like a complete and total dipshit moron. Unfortunately, sir, they <clears throat> Okay, so so then let me ask you this. If I go back in that lobby, will you arrest me? Yes or no? Well, somebody will. So I want to know if you're going to do it. Well, it depends on whether I'm Because there would be a Fourth Amendment violation, too. Mm, I don't think so. But you have that right to contest that. My suggestion is that you talk to a lawyer who's understand uh, that you understand what your legal rights actually are because i know what my rights are people, listen even the supreme court wants to change the law so they can what they consider the law to be so your understanding of the law may not be exactly what the understanding of these folks is in a nutshell fraud order you don't understand the law the lawyers do, the courts do, but you have little to no understanding of it. That's why you get into trouble so often because you don't know it or you just don't care. You don't understand it may not the law. Be the understanding of the judge who has to rule on a case. So my suggestion to you is that you take your legal right to be out here and not push it to the point where you go inside and wind up losing your. Uh, losing your freedom and having to go to jail. There's no reason for that. No, there's not a reason. Right. Like, I should be able to exercise my constitutional right in a public place. You did. Until that that you lobby is a public place. You cannot go back in our And building. that's why you got a lawsuit coming, honey. That's fine, sir. Okay, don't go back. I'm going to sue you building. personally. Please. Okay? Please. For everything you have. Please. I'm going to come for your bar license. All right? Please well, do. you're going to get a complaint today. So get your ass back inside. Go to work. Bye-bye. You don't want to start First Amendment. Fire. First Amendment. You do realize that if you get arrested for this kind of incident, that it can be used against you in a court of law. Everything that you say or do from the, that point on, uh, dude, you're not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer if you keep on pushing buttons like this. Good luck. I mean, I mean, since since you've been re respectful for the most part, I'll consider not filing a lawsuit against you personally. Well, I, but the county's going to get it. No, I understand. You got to do what you have to do, sir. All right, good luck. To you. All right, thank you. Take care of yourself. Yep, you too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. These cocksuckers right here decided to kick me out of the building. If I go back in there, they're going to trespass me. So I can't go in the file complaint. I, I can't exercise my First Amendment right in there. They are government employees. They are government employees, all right? They violated Title 18 U.S.C. subsection 241 and 242 of the U.S. Code. So we can go to the feds. And if I'm yeah, good luck with that, and I'm sure your uh, video footage will be used against you in a court of law, considering that they didn't threaten you at all, but you, on the other hand, that's a different story altogether. So, I'm sure the lawsuit will go through, but you'll be laughed right out of court. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?